Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing Destiny, and I'm going to show you how to get across the bridge in Crota's End solo. It's made up of clips, so some stuff is missing, but it's not really important. The main important bits are what I got, because I didn't know you could actually do this, so I was just making clips along the way. And yeah, it's a pretty effective method. So let's go ahead and show it now. Alright, on this part I fiddle around with the controls a little bit. So, to tell you what's happening, I am playing as the Hunter right now to show you that you can do it with any class, because the Hunter has easily the worst sustained jump. So if you can do it with the hunter, you can do it with anyone. So anyway, I killed the sword bearer, and I'm grabbing the sword right now. You don't have to open the bridge at all. And right here, you'll do a jump, another jump, and then at the apex of that, do two slashes forward, and then slowly start to curve right. You don't want to go too far right, or else the game will kill you. It'll kill you by the architects and all that. So right here, as you can see on this, if you do fall down a little bit, you can just slash towards the wall, and it'll carry you up. And then you jump and slash across. Now from here, when I got up, I stabbed someone to turn invisible, and then I just ran behind the little pillar. It's right when you go up the bridge, turn left, and there's a little lamp there. It's what a lot of people use for the cheesing method, which is a good way to get across here. So basically what I did is what somebody is supposed to do, and then they go across and wait here, and then the rest of the people snipe from the other side. But I decided, well, if you can do that with one person, can you complete it with one person? And as you're about to find out, yes, yes you can. So right here, the ogre came out after I killed enough thrall and acolytes, and I switched over to the heavy ammo to so do more damage. As you'll see, I throw out a grenade to distract him a little bit, and then open fire. What I eventually did, though, is I switched to the icebreaker, because that does a lot more damage when it's maxed out at 331. And then I killed him easily. The left side is very easy. The right side, it gets harder, because you're out in the open, so you have to kill a bunch of thrall, which you don't see here, because I had a ruthless battle with them earlier. So now all that's left are wizards and acolytes. And Thrall may spawn, so you really want to kill this ogre quickly. And as you'll see right here, I'm doing not so much damage, so switch over to the Icebreaker. And as you'll see here, if you get criticals, it does a lot. And then, wait for it, bam, loot drops. Now at this point, somebody does join in, but he's level 29, so his damage wasn't going to help at all. But as you see, I'm using a Gallerhorn here that's maxed out. And if you hit that with a Shrieker at level 31, you will instantly kill it. And right here after that, I turned into the Blade Dancer, and you'll see why that's useful coming up. I jump over this Thrall here, and then jump right here, do a double jump, and then you're going to want to press RB to dash across. Because you can land and slide, but that's a lot less effective. If you're using the Hunter, easily the best method to get across there, because no other class can do that. With the Titan, you might be able to do the Death from Above and get in there at an angle, which actually does sound pretty effective, but you do stall in the air first before you do it. So it's definitely best to use the Blade Dancer. Now I also have a video on how to get across the Abyss solo, which I'm going to put an annotation in the corner just in case you want to find that as well. So now with these two things, I can do the Abyss solo and the Bridge solo with all three of my characters every week, which is very good because I don't like looking for fire teams very often. Although on hard mode, I can only get across the Abyss with the Titan so far. Although, as you saw in the video, I found a pair of boots for my hunter, which were the last pieces I need, so I finally can have a level 32 character, because my warlock and titan are both missing chest armor, so that might take a while. But anyway, that was how to do the bridge solo. Hope it was helpful. Now, for the people who watch my channel regularly, as you'll notice, I haven't uploaded a video in an entire week, and here's why. My computer is having insane problems right now. It is crashing constantly. And I did refresh it, which is a little bit better, but the CPU is still out of whack. I mean, it's crazy how much it says the CPU is using when it's really not. So yeah, my computer is all kind of screwed up right now. So, you're probably not going to see a video from me for a while. Hopefully, it's no longer than a week. But at the rate it is, I can't record videos as I normally do. And editing them is a huge pain in the ass because of how much CPU that takes up. Because I'm still using a Sony product. I'm using Movie Studio Platinum 13 now. Because I used to use Sony Vegas Pro, but after I did the refresh, I lost my serial key. So I'm down to the cheaper version, which is still really good for what I need it for. So I'm definitely going to keep it. But yeah, the way I'm having to record this video right now is how I did the one for Evolve, where I recorded it and then later added commentary over it. So instead of doing live commentary, I have to do it this way. Which I don't really like doing that often. I like doing live commentary. But as I found out, I already did this video. And I did it live commentary, so the video track was completely ruined. So to stop the CPU drain, I decided to record them separately, which is what I'm doing right now. And that might fail as well, but, well, it's all I have. 
But yeah, hopefully I'm going to be buying a new PC soon, and I'm going to go to the bank and see if I can get a loan from them, because the new PC that I'm going to get is around $1,000, and that is a lot to drop in one week. So it's better to pay it off over time. Alright, so anyway, hopefully I'm not gone for too long, and I will be back with more videos then.